Shishi Guru Goranga, Pandarka Guru Hari, Radhavi Naroti Hari Radha Kohini Jyoti, Jai, Jali, Vishnu Bhad Paramahana Satara Raja Daya Asatara Satashi Shimad, Avai Charananda Vinda Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, Jali, Vishnu Bhad Paramahana Satara Raja Daya Asatara Satashi Shimad, Bhakti Vedanta Maharaj, Swami Maharaj, Jai. Shri Gaudiya Guru Varga Ki, Jai Sadha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhupada, Shri Adaita Dara Shivasari Shri Gaur Bhaktivinoda Ki, Jai Anantakoti Vaishnavinoda Ki, Jai Rata Bhaktivinoda Ki, Jai Gai Gaur Prem, Jai Hari Hari Bhagavad Gita, Om Nidha Sambhuk, Prakta Sambhuk. Gurve Gaur Chandraya Radhikayai Tadalai Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namo Namaha Bande Ham Shri Guru Shri Juta Padakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tham Sajeevam <coughs> Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitam Shcha <clears throat> Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Anjana Shalapaya Chakshur Unmilitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Mukam Karoti Vachalam Pangum Langayate Girin Yat Kripa Tamaham Mande Shri Guru Dinataranam <clears throat> Vancha Kalpa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bya Evacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Nama Namo Mahabadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurati Se Nama <clears throat> Nityanandam namastubhyam premananda pradayane kalo kalamashanashaya janava pataye namaha Bande Shri Krishna Chaitanya Nityanando sahodito Gaudaudaye pushpavanto Chitro shamdo tamonudo Vajanu lambita bujo kanaka vadato Samkirta naika pitaro kamalaya taksho Vishwambaro dvijavaro yuga dharma palo <coughs> Vande jagat priyakaro kanavdhavataro Panchatatvatmakam krishnam Bhakta rupa swarupakam Bhakta vataram bhaktakyam <clears throat> Namami Bhakta Shakti Kam He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagat Pate Go Pesha Go Pika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate <clears throat> Tapta Kanshana Gaurangi Radhe Brindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Jayatam Shruto Pangor Mamamanda Mater Gati Matsarvasva Padam Bojo Radha Madana Mohano Divyad Vrindaranya Kalpadru Madha Shimad Radnagar Singhasanasto Shri Madhuradha, Srila Govinda Devao, 
Vaishtadibhi Sevya Mano Smarami Sriman Rasa Rasadam Bhivam Shiva Tata Takstitaha Karsana Venus Vanayir Gopir Gopi Nata Shri Estumaha Bhaktya Vihina Aparad Lakshaya Kshiptaschaka Madi Taranga Madhye Kripa Maitvam Sharanam Prapanna Vrinde Namaste Charanaravindam Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Srivasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare <clears throat> First of all I'm offering my unlimited dandavat pranams and my shraddha pushpanjali at the lotus feet of my most worshipable beloved Gurudev Nityalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Astotarasata Sri Shula Esi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Srila Prabhupada And then I'm offering my same unlimited Dandavat Pranams and my Shuddha Pushpanjali at the lotus feet of my most worshipable beloved Siksha Guru Devs Nityalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Astatarasata Sri Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhara Goswami Maharaj and Nitya Lila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Astatarasata Sri Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj and I'm offering my Dandavat Pranams to the lotus feet of all of my Sri Sri Rupa Nuga Guru Varga and especially at the lotus feet of our Prayojan Tattva Acharya Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, who is the author of Vilapakusha Manjali. Uh, and I am praying for his causeless mercy that we can enter even one tiny bit into the mood that he is conveying in this glorious literature. So we've come up to verse 30. Yesterday we did an overview and, uh, and we read the verse again and a little bit of the purport. So today uh, we'll complete this purport. So the verse is Manichaya Kachita beer, Nila Chuda Vadi beer. Hari Dayata Kala bid, Dvandvam in Divarakshi. Api Bata Tava Divyair, Angulir Anguliai. Kachid Api Kila Kale, Busha Yishyami Kim Nu. O Lotus Eyed One, that means Shimati Radhika. O Lotus Eyed One, when will I adorn your fingers with glittering rings and your two graceful arms, which are so dear to Hari, with blue armlets studded with pearl, with jewels? You can repeat. Mani Chaya, Kachita Vir, Bhushayish Yami, Kim Nu. O Lotus Eyed One, when will I adorn your fingers with glittering rings and your two graceful arms, which are so dear to Hari, with blue armlets studded with jewels? So, Srila Gurudev's commentary, he's uh, going to speak about the blue bracelets and Radhika's man. 
Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, even though he is a Siddha, he is playing the role of a sadhak. He has passed the stages of Anartha Nivritti, Nishta, Ruchi, Asakti, and Bhav. He is in Bhav Avastha. 24 hours a day, he is always in that mood, but sometimes internal, half internal, and in external consciousness. When he is he is always remembering the pastimes he has seen in Spurti or his internal awareness. Now, Tulsi Manjari has given the mala and is giving bracelets on Radhika's arms. The bracelets are blue. How Krishna gives this? Uh, she reminded Srimati Radhika how Krishna gives this, these bracelets and so forth. Krishna wants that these arms of Srimati Radhika should come around his neck. Her arms are very near and dear to Krishna. They are very smooth, round and beautiful. These arms are very dear to Krishna, so she wants to decorate these arms and hands. When she is giving the bracelets on the arms of Srimati Radhika, she is reminding Radhika. Who is she? Tulsi Manjari. She is reminding Radhika how Krishna decorates her arms with these bracelets and how he gives rings on her fingers. Manichaya Kachita Beer. Various kinds of jewels are on these bracelets. When they serve Krishna, Krishna becomes so pleased. They jingle so sweetly that Krishna is attracted to that sound. Raghunath Das Goswami has told that Radhika's Swarup and all her ornaments are made of only Krishna Mahabhav, right? <laughs> all of her ornaments, everything, her form, everything is made of Mahabhav. So this bracelet is also of Mahabhav. Nila Chudavali beer. The color of the bracelets is blue the same color as Krishna. Whatever clothes or ornaments Srimati Radhika wears are near and dear to Krishna and remind her of Krishna. In the Radha Rasa Sudha Nidhi, it is written by, of course, Prabodhananda Saraswati, uh, Krishna Paksho Navakuvalayam Krishna Saras Tamalo Nilam Bodhas Tava Ruchi Padam Nama Rupaischa Krishna Krishne Kasmat Tava Vimukata Mohana Shyama Murtau It Yuktva Tvam Prahasita Mukim Kim Nupashyam Kim Nupashyami Radhe You like the dark sky when the moon is waning, the freshly blossoming blue lotus. So telling here that this is what Srimati Radhika likes. She likes, you like the dark sky when the moon is waning, the freshly blossoming blue lotus, the black deer, the dark tamal tree, the dark monsoon clouds, and the dark Yamuna River. Why then do you dislike charming Krishna, who is so much like them in name and form? When will I see you smile, O Radhika, as I speak these words? So Krishna's name and form, they are very near and dear to Radhika. Krishna Paksha Ratri. There are two kinds of night, Krishna Paksha and Shukla Paksha, the dark moon night and the bright moon night, respectively. And on the nights of the dark moon, Radhika wears a blue sari 
Everything she wears is dark or nila, so that no one can see her. And thus she goes to Abisar. The dark moon night in which she wears dark cloth is suitable for Srimati Radhika and is very near and dear to Radhika. There are so many various kinds of colors of the lotus flowers, but Srimati Radhika chooses the Nila Kamala, blue lotuses, because they resemble Krishna's Swarup. The Tamal tree is Shyam, or Nila colored, so she very much loves Tamal trees. The Tamal has no qualification at all. <laughs> its fruits are are not useful. They are like poison. Not even an animal takes them. And when one touches its flowers, it pinches one. The fruit is used when someone's feet have been infected. It is not a very great tree, but it resembles Krishna. So it is very near and dear to Radhika. Radhika loves it, so we also love it. Otherwise, it has no other qualification, no good fruits or anything. A goat cannot take the leaves of a tamal tree. A cow does not take the leaves of the tamal tree because it is somewhat bitter, not sweet, but yet it resembles Krishna. Only if something resembles Krishna, looks like Krishna, and it reminds Radhika of Krishna, then she loves it. Sometimes Srimati Radhika prays to dark blue rain clouds. But when she is in Man, she does not go near a tamal tree, does not like to see the rain clouds or blue lotus flowers. When she is in a mood of Viraha, then she loves these black or these Nila bracelets. But when she is in Man, she will take off all these bracelets and throw them away. The symptoms of Mahabhav are like this. Anything which is like Krishna, 1% even, what to tell of 100%, reminds Radhika of Krishna. So in Chaitanya Charitamrita, uh, eighth chapter, that's Rairamnanda Sambhad, Madhya it is stated, Maha Bhagavata Deke Stavara Jangama Tahan Tahan Hoi Tar Shri Krishna Spuran Stavra Jangama Deke Na Deke Tar Murti Sarvatra Hoi Nija Ishta Deva Spurti. So, this talking, we've heard this many times, we're just talking about the vision of a Maha Bhagavat. How do they see everything? And this is in context, you remember? when Mahaprabhu was standing in front of Ramananda Roy, and then Ramananda Roy had this vision, which was given by Mahaprabhu. And then he described that first he saw this bluish cowherd boy standing in front of him. Then he saw a golden panchalika, some like a golden doll, a female form, golden doll, right? So that was when he was granted that vision of Mahaprabhu, but he was actually seeing Rasaraj and Mahabhav merging together in one. And then what happened to him? He fainted. And Mahaprabhu touched him and revived him. So, you know, um, Ramananda Roy was describing that what he just experienced to Mahaprabhu. And then Mahaprabhu said, oh, you are Mahabhagavat. So you actually see Krishna everywhere and in everything. Because uh, he's trying to um, not make a big thing about that vision that he just saw. Because Mahaprabhu is always covered, you know. So the, the translation of these two verses from Jaitan Charitamrita is, an advanced devotee sees everything movable and inert as a manifestation of Lord Krishna. The Mahabhagavat sees everything mobile and immobile, but 
does not see their material forms. Rather, everywhere he envisions the form of his Ishtadeva, the su Supreme Lord. So, Gurudev is explaining that when a Mahabhagavat sees anything which is like Krishna in any way, then a Spurti of Krishna comes. They act like Udipan. So this is the symptom of a Mahabhagavat. Shimati is not a Mahabhagavat. She is the guru of the guru of all Mahabhagavats. She is Mahabhav Swarupa Sri Radha Thakurani. She is Krishna Mayi, always seeing Krishna. Then he quotes the verse from Adi Lila chapter 4 about Srimati Radhika being Krishna Mayi. Krishna Mayi, Krishna Jar, Vitore Bahire, Jaha Jaha Netra Pade, Taha Krishna Spure. Krishna Mayi means one who's within and without are Sri Krishna. She sees Krishna wherever she glances. <laughs> I remember, um, you remember that, that one lady who was uh, the lead singer of that rock group who came to her name and took initiation? What's her name again? Chrissy Hind. So I somehow was the one that preached to her at Rup Sanatan when she came kind of undercover. And mm -hmm. So I ended up having a kind of helping relationship. I took her on Purikrama one day with Prem Ras from France. And we went to Varshana and here and there. She had a friend who was um, from Holland. And they knew each other before she became famous. They were both in, in rock groups and stuff like that. And that friend was living in Vrindavan. She was Gurudev's disciple. She had a kind of oriental features, but she was born in Holland. I forget her name. Yeah, but uh, anyway, over, over a period of a couple of years, you know, she also came to Gurudev's festival in Italy for a few days. She came here also, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but one time I was in London, and, um, yeah, it was actually Yashoda Nandan's wife, who Gurudev had assigned to kind of look after her, you know? How, like how Prabhupada assigned Shyam Sundar to look after George Harrison, you know? So, uh, it was arranged that um, I was going to go and visit her at her house, at her house, and her house was near to central London area, West End, like where Hyde Park is and all of that. And so I came there uh, and visited her house. She had a daughter that was there at the same time also. And uh, yeah, I remember, because she received the name Krishna Mai. Oh, she did. Yes, this name that is being mentioned here. And so I remember sitting in her living room and greeting her and talking. And, and then she said, can you tell me what is the meaning of my name that Srila Gurudev has given me? And then uh, I said, oh, Krishna Mai. This is a name of Srimati Radhika. She sees Krishna everywhere, inside, internally, outwardly, everywhere. She sees Krishna. So I remember telling her that. And then later on, I saw a video, somebody mentioned it to me that she had, I mean, she's continuing in her career. She's like a big rock icon now, you know. But um, she actually composed a song in which she actually directly says, I'm Krishna Mai. <laughs> yeah. So that's just a little aside on this. So Gurudev is saying, outside and inside, everywhere, wherever she sees, she sees Krishna, Srimati Radhika. If she will see that tree, she will remember Krishna, because it is nila, bluish. If she will see bamboo, she will remember the bamshi, 
and again Krishna. Raghunath Das Goswami in his real inner form as Tulsi Manjari is also Krishna Mai. At first she is Radha Mai and all Srimati Radhika's moods come in her. So the moods of Radhika come in the moods of Raghunath Das Goswami. In in D, in D means blue. It seems that Shimati Radhika has always taken Krishna in her eyes, so she is Indi Varakshi. That's in the verse, Indi Varakshi. Shimati Radhika has always taken Krishna in her eyes, and Indi means blue. So she is Indi Varakshi, because Akshi means eyes. Hearing this, Shimati Radhika becomes so pleased. Shimati Radhika is thinking that Tulsi knows all her moods and reminds her of Krishna by this word, Indi Varakshi. Krishna is Indi Vara and she is Indi Varakshi. So, <clears throat> she is giving the bracelets on the arms of Radhika, reminding her of the pastimes when Srimati Radhika embraced Krishna while wearing these bracelets, and he became controlled by her. When Radhika is out of sight and Krishna is searching for her, somehow these bracelets make some sound and Krishna knows where she is. Krishna goes there and meets her. So she is very helpful to Krishna in searching for her. That means Tulsi is helpful. And also Radhika, because she's wearing those bracelets and the sounds are coming. Hari Dayata. Who is this Hari? Hari Dayata means that the beloved of Radhika is Hari, not that the beloved of Krishna is Radhika. Srimati Radhika thinks that Krishna is mine, and this bhav is so strong and so high. Chandravali has the bhav that I am Krishna's, but here Krishna is of Radhika. Krishna likes this so much. This is Madhya Bhav, the mood that Krishna is mine. Why has he called, Raghunath Das Goswami, why has he called Hari the beloved of Radhika? Because he takes the shyness, the contrary mood, and the man of Radhika, which are obstacles to their meet in their meeting. Haran means Hari to take away. Haran means Hari to take away. Krishna is so wise that by his roop, by his virtues, beautiful qualities, and his Venu Madhurya, he takes all the things which are obstacles for Radha to meet Krishna. And Srimati Radhika at once meets with Krishna, giving up Lajja, Man, Vamya, and everything else. So, he is Hari. Yes. So, Krishna is so wise, that by his rupa, by his virtues, by his beautiful qualities, by, by his venu madhurya, he takes all the things which are obstacles for Radha to meet Krishna. Krishna takes that you know, because it's describing Hari, the meaning of the word Hari. But in this context, it means he's taking away all the obstacles for Radha to meet him. And Srimati Radhika at once meets with Krishna, giving up all of her lajja. Lajja means shyness, shame, 
man, vamya, everything else. So he is Hari. When Radhika is in man, she makes a strong vow uh, that she will not see Krishna. Krishna will try anything, but she will not see him nor speak with him. But at the, at the time, the eyes of Radhika are not under her control. Although she makes this vow that she won't see him, <laughs> and she's in man, but at that time, the eyes of Radhika are not under her control. She has made up her mind strongly that she will not see Krishna, but her eyes are going to see. <laughs> She has a strong desire that she will not go to Krishna, but her feet are going towards him. She has made up her mind that she will never talk to Krishna, but her mind and her heart always like to talk to Krishna. She has forbidden her nose to take the fragrance of Krishna, but it is always eager for this. She has forbidden her ears to hear the sounds of Krishna's flute, but they are not obeying her. They are out of control. Once, Purnima came and told Radhika, I have heard that you are the most chaste lady in the whole of Raj. But now so many rumors are going around that you are not a chaste lady and that you are very much attached to Krishna. So who's telling this? Purnimasi. Purnima. Then Radhika answered, What can I do? I have made up my mind very strongly that I will not see Krishna, and I will not have any connection with Krishna, but when he sees me, he comes to me. And when I push him away, he, he, uh, he comes to me. And when I cry to gather persons, he covers my mouth. And when I want to run from there, he blocks my way. What should I do? You should tell me what you would do if this happened to you. Radhika is telling to Purnamasi. So when Radhika has made up her mind that she will not speak or look at Krishna, then at once Krishna comes and waits for her and says, you should look at me only one time. Once you should look and then I will go away. Right? Krishna's negotiating, because she's looking away. You should look at me just one time, and then I'll go away. So in Radha Rasa, oh wait, yes, and then I'll go away. She is always trying to see from under the veil, not directly. Isn't that in the uh, Seva Kunj painting? Where she's raised her veil, and her, her face is turned away, but her eyes are turned toward Krishna. In the Rasa, Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, it has been told that those who have not seen this pastime of Radhika and Krishna, their eyes are in vain. Their mind is in vain. Their heart is in vain. That person is useless. So, when Tulsi Manjari was giving all these things to Radhika in her swarup, or in a spurti, and reminding Srimati Radhika of Krishna, at once she came in Antar Baha, Bahya Dasha, outward consciousness, Tulsi Manjari. And that spurti went away. And he saw that there were no hands of Srimati Radhika. Again, he is praying, When will that day come, O Srimati Radhika, in Divarakshi, when I will give those blue bracelets on your arms and Nila money on your fingers? When will I give you all these things? He is weeping and praying like this. If a sadak, this is the last <clears throat> sentence of this commentary. If a sadak 
always remembers Krishna and Srimati Radhika having the mood that I will serve them and I will not spend a single minute here in this material world, then this will automatically come in his heart. So... Verse 31, I'm just going to read the verse and a little bit, just a little bit of the purport. This is also, um, it's about a six page purport. So, verse 31 Padam bo jay mani maya tulakoti yugmena yatnad abhyarche tad dala kulam api preshta. Padanguliai Kanchi Damna Koti Tatam Idam Prema Pitam Sunetre Kangsa Rater Atulam Achirad Archayashyami Kim Te. <clears throat> o beautiful eyed one, when will I worship your two lotus feet with the jeweled anklets? and the petals of your lotus feet with toe rings. With a splendid belt, when will I worship your hips, the sacred pilgrimage place of Kangsari, the enemy of Kangsa? Can we repeat? Padam Boje, Mani Maya, Tula Koti, Yugmena, Yatnad, Abhyarche, Taddala, Kulam Api, Preshta, Padanguliai, Kanchi, Damna, Kati Tatam, Idam, Prema Pitam, Sunetre, Kangsarater, Atulam, Achirad, Archayashyami, Kimte. O beautiful eyed one, when will I worship your two lotus feet with jeweled anklets? And the, and the petals of your lotus feet with toe rings. With, toe rings. with, a, splendid belt, with a splendid belt, when will I worship your hips? The sacred pilgrimage place of Kangsari, the enemy of Kangsa. Padanguliai, that's, that means her lotus toes. And he wants to put toe rings and also anklets and a belt around her hips. Srila Gurudev's commentary. <clears throat> now it is, it is morning and the Manjaris have finished bathing Srimati Radhika and now they are ornamenting her. Even without any ornament, she is naturally very beautiful. When Ramanath Das Goswami is in outer sense, he is like a sadhak. But when he is in inner stage, then he is a siddha. He is not a sadhak, he is a siddha. But for a sadhak, it will not be so easy as it was for Ramanath Das Goswami. He has come here as an associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to show the path of Rag Anuga Bhakti. A sadhak should try to do all these things. Who will do this? One who has taste and who has very good guidance. Sajatiya Shaye Snigdhe and has gone through 11 kinds of bobs 
or moods. Now Gurudev lists these 11 kinds of vibes or moods. No, not 11, he's saying. So one, one who has taste and has very good guidance, sajatiya shaye snigte, and has gone through 11 kinds of bhavs or moods, nama, name, rupa, form, gana, group, paliyadasi, mood of a maidservant, and so forth. And after that, he should complete five dashas, or stages. So this is what is called ekadash bhavs. And when he says he's gone through, that means that he's received that, he's experiencing that. So then he says, those 11 and so forth, and then after, he should complete five dashas or stages. So the first stage is called Shravan dasha, stage of hearing. Second is called Varan dasha, the stage of acceptance. Third, Smaran dasha, the stage of remembrance. Fourth, Bhav, Bhav Apanna dasha, the stage of spiritual ecstasy. Bhav Apanna dasha. And five, Prem Sampati dasha, the stage in which the topmost wealth of love is achieved. Sampati means to sometimes come in the inner stage. <clears throat> if anyone wants to enter this stage, then they should also know what is bhakti, and then what is bhakti rasa. It will come up to stai bhav, but stai bhav will not come at first. Shuddha sattva will come, and then after Shuddha sattva, in shravan dasha, he will know all the things which makes bhakti transform into bhakti rasa. So, we've heard this sequence before, Gurudev has mentioned. But when he says that the stai bhav uh, is manifesting, and he's talking about prem sampati dasha, the stage in which the topmost wealth of prem is achieved. Sampati means, sampati means to sometimes come in the inner stage. So if anyone wants to enter this stage, then they should also know what is bhakti and then what is bhakti rasa. So, as that person, I'm just paraphrasing it, as that person is entering into this stage, and he wants to enter the stage of sampati, then they should also know what bhakti, what is bhakti, and then what is bhakti rasa. So, this bhakti and bhakti rasa will come up to the stai bhav, but the stai bhav will not come at first. Stai bhav will not come at first. How will it come? First of all, Shuddha Sattva will come. That verse, the definition verse of bhav, Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma Prema Suryamsa Samyabhak Ruchi Bhishchitta Mashrinya Kridaso Bhava Uchite <clears throat> So, Gurudev is saying that first the Shuddha Sattva will come and descend in the heart. And then after Shuddha Sattva, in the stage of Shravandasa, the first stage, then he will know all the things which makes Bhakti transform into Bhakti Rasa. So without the stai bhav, bhakti cannot transform into bhakti rasa, right? Right. So he's saying that shuddha sattva will come, 
And then after that, because that's the end, that's the beginning of the stage of bhav, that Shuddha Sattva descends into the heart. Prema Suryamsu, like a particle of a ray of praying. We were talking about this in another class. <clears throat> How, where is that coming from? Because a ray comes like, it says, Prema Surya Amshu. So Prema Surya means the sun of praying. And Amshu means particle. So in the rays coming from the sun of praying, Shuddha Sattva. Visheshatma, the, like Gurudev was explaining these first few words, and he's saying that Rupa Goswami is using, he's putting the language there, which is not so easy to decipher. But, but overall, Gurudev told, this Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma, it actually means the moods of the eternal associates who, who are eternally with Krishna. And from their heart, which is like the spiritual sun, frame of, of, of praying, radiating, you know, and shining effulgently, then from their heart, it comes down into the sadhak's heart. Right? Only a particle of that. That's called bhav. Without that, one has not reached the stage of bhav. And that reaching the stage of bhav means uttam adhikari. Now, now, everything is revealed within his heart. What is his eternal, right? His eternal swarup. What is his relationship with Krishna? That's thai bhav. So when that comes, then the, in, the, the basis of the mixture of all the elements of Bhakti Rasa, because that's where Rupa Goswami gives the list of the different five ingredients, right? All the different moods and bhavs, those five ingredients contain stai bhav, Anubhav, Sattvic Bhav, Vyabhichadi Bhav, like this. So, those moods are coming in the heart at this stage. And it's been received <laughs> from the eternal associates, whom one, in the process of Rag Marg Bhakti, Raganuga Bhakti, they've been attracted to that mood, and they are very, very much fully immersed in the particular associate in Goloka Vrindavan, who is the, how do you say, emblem of that mood. Like, if, for those who aspire to Vatsalya praying, it would be like Mother Yashoda, Nanda Maharaj, and so forth. If one is in Sakyaras, then Sridam, Sudam, like that. And Prabhupada also mentions that in Videshamrita. So, so, Gurudev is saying that Stai Bhav will not come at first. Shuddha Sattva will come. And then after Shuddha Sattva, then in the stage of Shravan Dasha, hearing, he will know all the things which make Bhakti transform into Bhakti Rasa. So first will come the thoughts of Vibhav. Who is Krishna? The thoughts of Vibhav. Who is Krishna? I am in the position of Ashrai, a Saki, under the guidance of Gurudev or Rupamanjari. So that is the thoughts that come of Vibhav. Then Udipan will come. And after that, Anubhav will come. So Staibhav, then Vibhav, then Anubhav. Then Sanchari Bhav. And at last, it will come to 
Satvik Bhav. And then Stai Bhav will come. Uh, so it comes later. Stai Bhav comes. When Satvik Bhav will come, all these things will mix upon the platform of Stai Bhav. All these four will mix on the platform of Stai Bhav. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> Gurudev, when he would explain this, he would talk about making a very tasteful drink of Nimbupani lemonade, right? So here he's telling, if you mix water, sugar, fragrance, and rose water in a pot in proper proportion, then it will be rasa. So all of these things will be in the guidance of a very expert rasik. Vaishnava. Yeah, so who's Gurudev telling this to? Are you sure that this is from those uh, lessons? Yeah. I mean, that's what I've always heard. I would like to get the... It doesn't say in the beginning of the book where... No. Let me see. Okay. Right. Uh-huh. This guru gave him the right, it's certainly they could have been translated from Hindi actually. I suppose so. I'm just looking. Yeah, see, this this introduction is from Gurudev directly. So they have incredible detail. That yeah. I wonder if that really was from this. That Gurudev would have gone into that kind of detail with them. Okay, here at the end of this introduction, it is saying in this edition, of Sri Vilap Kushamanjali, we have included portions of Harikatha that were spoken by Sri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj when he was giving Darshan's private discourses to members of the ISKCON GBC in the early 1990s. They had approached him requesting higher instruction in these esoteric truths. Srila Gurudev accepted their request and he spoke to them about these elevated topics, thinking that if he did not give this high-class harikata to them, then they would search for it amongst the sahajiyas or the cheap imitationists, and by hearing it from unqualified sources, it would lead to their inauspiciousness. Yes. So, those meetings would last an hour, I was told, or yeah. I guess it was, so they would be like each uh, verse. Well, it ends here, the introduction. Rasik Mohan and Giridhari and Krishna Karunya, they compiled this. So it says, we would like to express a profound appreciation to the devotees who recorded and preserved the audio files of Srila Gurudev's Sri Vilap Kushamanjali discussions and lectures, and especially to Prem Vilas Prabhu for his transcription of the first 15 verses of Srila Gurudev's commentary. We pray that this book is pleasing to Srila Gurudev, the Guru Varga, and the family of Vaishnavas around the world, and that through this offering we may imbibe the inner moods of our Rupa Nuga, the Guru Varga. So that's where it's from. I'm always like a little bit taken back knowing this as we've been reading the book. Yeah. And, and the subject matters that Gurudev is expressing and yeah. giving because it's so deep and, and also elaborate elaborate. Um, and how he's explaining that this is how it will come to a sadhak who is doing this sadhana like this, you know. That's why I said, just see how Gurudev is speaking it to so these the persons. Last, sen last sentence of the previous um, mm -hmm. commentary is just very, very powerful. 
Yeah. You mean on the previous verse? The previous verse. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to read that again. Last sentence, yeah. Yeah. If a sadhak always remembers Krishna and Srimati Radhika, having the mood that I will serve them and will not spend a single minute here in this material world, then this will automatically come in his heart. These sporties and impressions. That, that's, that's so powerful. It's a high bar. It's a high bar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, so I'll just read this just a little bit more. Um, because what's coming here is amazing. He says, gradually it will come. If we will do one day like this, one day like this for an hour, and then leave it, and then here and there chanting, then nothing will come. Raghunath Das Goswami, when he is in external sense, is always thinking, I'm so wretched, I have no bhakti. He is always weeping and praying to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, praying to Giriraj, reading the books of Rupa Goswami. His only power was the books of Rupa Goswami and the knowledge he had gained from Surup Damodar, Rai Ramananda, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates. Then automatically it will come, like in a chain or stream. The pastimes of Krishna in the eight segments of the day will manifest in our heart. In the morning we will automatically remember the morning pastimes and this Purvan Lila will come in our heart. In midday, the Madhyan Lila will come. We will be in Radha Kunda. In the evening, when Krishna is returning, we will be with Srimati Radhika. When Krishna is returning, Rupa Manjari is with Srimati Radhika and seeing Krishna. When, we, when, when will he chant? Oh, this is a question. When will he chant or do another thing? He has no work to do. His everything becomes as the gopis. No mala in his hand because he is a paramahansa. But we will have to do all these things and follow Raghunath Das Goswami sequentially. In outer sense, he was weeping. And Nila Chudavali Beer. He has given bangles and rings on Radhika's fingers. When she was going to put these rings on the fingers or the bangles on her arms, then he saw that there was no hand of Srimati Radhika, and he was bitterly weeping, weeping, weeping. So we'll read the next few pages tomorrow. Yeah, there's about five more pages. Shri Shri Vilap Kushumanjali Ki Jai Shila Raghunath Das Goswami Pada Ki Jai Shila Rupa Goswami Pada Ki Jai <coughs> Sad Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Jai Shri Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai Shila Guru Deva Ki Jai Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai some of eight of up the Vrinda Kija and Dai Gorpanamandi. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna
Krishna, Hare Krishna. Can you hand me that card? Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jai Krishna Bhanu Nandini Radhe Radhe Krishna Bhanu Nandini Radhe Radhe Jaya Govinda Nandini Radhe Radhe Govinda Nandini Radhe Radhe Govinda Nandini Radhe Radhe Jai Ashta Shakti Shiromani Radhe Radhe Ashta Shakti Shiromani Radhe Radhe Ashta Shakti Shiromani
Jai Jai Gurudev, 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 Jai Jai Dev, Gurudev, Jai Jai Prabhu Ba. Nitai Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Gaur Jai Sapadikar Shishi Guru Gauranga Gandhar Vika Giri Dhari Radha Govinda Radha Vinod Bihari Jeeva Ki Jai Shiva Prabhupad Ki Jai Shiva Guru Deva Ki Jai Shiva Bandhu Guru Varga Ki Jai Ananda Gaudi Vaishna Vrinda Ki Jai Samagata Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Nitai Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Gaur Vrindai Tulsi Devai Priyani Kesava Sacha Krishna Bhakti Prade Devi Sacha Vachai Namo Namo Vansha Kalpada Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhiva Cha Vatitanam Bhavani Yoga Ishna Nebhya 